Did you know that Iceland, known as the land of fire and ice, is home to around 130 volcanoes, yet it uses geothermal energy to heat 87% of its homes? A land of stark contrast, Iceland sits on the edge of the Arctic Circle, where fire meets ice and the Earth's crust is constantly reshaping itself. This small island nation, nestled between the North Atlantic and Arctic Oceans, boasts more active volcanoes per square mile than anywhere else on Earth. Yet rather than seeing this as a threat, the Icelandic people have harnessed this immense power of nature to their advantage. By tapping into the geothermal energy generated by these fiery mountains, they've found a sustainable and eco-friendly way to heat their homes, their swimming pools and even their sidewalks. Now, isn't that amazing? Harnessing the power of volcanoes to keep warm in the freezing cold. Now that's what you call living in harmony with nature. Believe it or not, Iceland doesn't have an army. Yes, you heard it right. No army. Now before you start imagining a defenseless nation at the mercy of invaders, let me assure you, that's far from the case. Iceland is one of only a few countries in the world that doesn't maintain a standing army. But don't be fooled into thinking they're unprotected. The nation does have a coast guard equipped with ships and aircraft to monitor and safeguard their territorial waters. Additionally, Iceland has a small crisis response unit called the Icelandic Crisis Response Unit or ICRU. This unit is made up of professionals who volunteer their skills and expertise for international peacekeeping missions. So, while they may not have an army in the traditional sense, they are by no means defenseless. Their dedication to peace and safety is reflected in their unique approach to national defense. Who needs an army when you have peace-loving citizens and a coast guard? Ever wondered what the Viking language sounded like? Just take a trip to Iceland. Yes, you heard that right. The language of the Vikings, or Old Norse as it's more formally known, is still alive and well in the land of fire and ice. The Icelandic language has remained virtually unchanged since the Viking Age a testament to the country's cultural preservation. It's like a living museum, where the echoes of ancient sagas can still be heard in the day-to-day -day conversations of its people. From the bustling streets of Reykjavik to the remote corners of the West Fjords, you'll hear words and phrases that Vikings would have used a thousand years ago. This rich linguistic heritage is also evident in their literature, where you'll find classic sagas written in the same language as they were in the days of Eric the Red, so if you're looking for a Viking language course, you know where to head. In most parts of the world, leaving a baby outside might raise eyebrows, but not in Iceland. Here, it's a common sight to see infants napping peacefully in their prams, parked outside houses, shops or cafes, regardless of the weather. This isn't neglect, but a deeply ingrained cultural practice that's been followed for generations. Icelanders believe that allowing their young ones to nap outdoors, even in freezing temperatures, promotes good health and robustness. The fresh air, they say, leads to better sleep and stronger immune systems. It's not uncommon to see babies bundled up snugly in their prams, breathing in the crisp Icelandic air as they sleep. This might seem strange or even shocking to outsiders, yet for Icelanders, it's just a part of daily life, a testament to their hardy nature and unique approach to child rearing. So don't be surprised if you see a line of prams outside a cafe in Iceland. Iceland publishes more books per capita than any other country in the world. It's a nation of writers. That's right, literature is deeply woven into the fabric of Icelandic culture. From the sagas of the Viking era to the modern novels of today, storytelling has always held a special place in the heart of this nation. One of the most unique aspects of Iceland's literary culture is the Jólabókaflod, or Christmas Book Flood. Imagine this, as the year winds down, publishers release a torrent of new books, just in time for the holiday season. This tradition dates back to World War II, when paper was one of the few commodities not rationed. Today, it remains a cherished practice, with Icelanders giving books as gifts and spending Christmas Eve lost in a new story. In the land of fire and ice, stories keep the heart warm. So, in Iceland, the chill of winter is always countered by the warmth of a good book.